Hi. Welcome to EMG4102, Environmental Quality Management Systems. Today we were learning about life cycle assessment for products which is glass bottles. My name is Muhammad Zaydulhair bin Abdullah, and my matric number is 1, 9, 6, 1, 4, 9. In this video we will learn about 1. What is glass bottle? 2. Why choose glass bottle? 3. Benefits of using glass bottle. 4. Life cycle of glass bottle. 5. Impact of glass bottle. 6. Conclusion. Do you know what is glass bottle? A glass bottle is a bottle made from glass. Bottles are used to store liquids such as water, milk, soft drinks, wine, medicine, soap, ink, and etc. Glass bottles can vary in size considerably but are most found in sizes ranging between about 200 milliliters and 1.5 liters. These types of bottles are utilitarian and serve a purpose in commercial industries. Glass bottles and glass jars are found in many households around the world. The first glass bottles were produced in Southeast Asia around 100 BC and in the Roman Empire around 1 AD. America's glass bottle and glass jar industry was born in the early 1600s, when settlers in Jamestown built the first glass melting furnace. The invention of the automatic glass bottle blowing machine in 1903 industrialized the process of making bottles. Why choose a glass bottle? First, it is free from contaminants. Almost all of us have had the unpleasant experience of taking a sip from a plastic or metal bottle and tasting something that wasn't water. Sometimes it's as harmless as the residual taste from the container holding something other than water. However, the presence of harmful chemicals like bisphenol A, BPA, can be hazardous for human consumption. Glass containers won't leach chemicals, nor will they absorb the residual odors or tastes of other beverages. Second, easy to clean. Glass bottles are easy to keep clean and won't lose their clarity from being washed or infused with fruit and herb blends, as plastics commonly do. They can be sterilized at high heat in the dishwasher without the worry that they'll melt or degrade. Potential toxins are eliminated while upholding the structure and integrity of the glass bottle. Third, holds a steady temperature. Whether hot or cold, glass bottles hold liquids at a steady temperature more effectively than plastic. Glass can be used for liquids other than water without absorbing foreign flavors, odors, or colors. That means you can use a glass water bottle to hold your hot tea in the morning and use the same water bottle for refreshingly cold water in the afternoon. Next, environmentally friendly. Glass is endlessly recyclable, keeping it in use and out of landfills. Most glass bottles end up in landfills or in water sources. Even the plastic materials that get recycled don't always make it through the whole recycling process, further complicating plastic's ability to be a sustainable material. Of the 30 types of plastic available, only 7 are commonly accepted for recycling. On the other hand, all glass is recyclable, and the only criteria for sorting glass are its color. In fact, most glass manufacturing uses recycled post-consumer glass that is crushed, melted down, and made into new products. Lastly, keeps liquids clean and fresh. Glass bottles preserve taste and are better for the environment and your health. That's why Lipsy Mountain Spring Water is always bottled in pharmaceutical-grade glass. They're heat sterilized in between uses, ensuring the water you drink is fresh, pure, and delicious. What are the benefits of using glass bottles? The benefits of glass bottles are clear. It's sustainable, it's inert, it's 100% and infinitely recyclable, reusable, and refillable. It's safe to store food and drinks in, and it's beautiful, consumers love it. First, the glass comes from nature. Glass is made from naturally occurring ingredients abundant in nature. The alchemy of these ingredients results in one sole material. No other material or chemical layers are needed to complete it. Second, glass is 100% recyclable and infinitely. Glass bottles can be recycled endlessly with no loss in quality or purity. Glass recycling is a closed-loop system, creating no additional waste or by-products. Glass is one of the very few examples where the same material can be recycled repeatedly without loss of quality. 
Third, glass containers can be reused. They can have up to 40 lives. Reusing glass bottles reduces the overall impact and increases the sustainable value of glass many times over. Returnable glass is a good alternative solution the industry can offer for specific market conditions. Next, glass is non-porous and impermeable. There are no interactions between glass packaging and products to affect the flavor of food and beverages. No nasty aftertaste, ever. Lastly, glass has an almost zero rate of chemical interactions. It will ensure that the products inside a glass bottle keep their strength, aroma, and flavor. The life cycle of a glass bottle. Firstly, production of the container materials which are all steps from the extraction of raw materials through the production of materials that comprise the containers. Second, transport of empty containers from container producer to milk filling factory. Third, transport of filled containers from the milk factory to a distribution center. In this step, the subsequent transportation from the distribution center to the retailer is not included in this analysis due to a lack of data as well as the assumption that such a transportation step is negligible in comparison to upstream transportation steps. Next, the post-consumer disposal and recycling of the container systems, including recycling, landfill, and combustion scenarios. Lastly, glass bottles are thrown into respective bins to be recycled. The product would be formed to the cullet and the destination of 70% of product as cullet would be reused in batching process and the rest as waste incineration. For example, the distance between the above-mentioned locations is mentioned as follows. 1. Glass bottle production, milk filling station equals 100 kilometers. 2. Milk filling station, distribution center equals 100 kilometers. 3. Distribution center, recycling center equals 100 kilometers. It is assumed that 70% of glass bottles are recycled and the rest end up in incinerators. The process taking place in the recycling center is not included in the system boundary. The rest of 30% is incinerated. The study uses average data rather than marginal data. At end of life, system expansion has been used as far as possible to avoid allocation. Impact of a glass bottle. First, impact on the environment. The major environmental impact of glass production is caused by atmospheric emissions from melting activities. The combustion of natural gas, fuel oil and the decomposition of raw materials during the melting lead to the emission of CO2. This is the only greenhouse gas emitted during the production of glass. Second, impact on air. The Kyoto Protocol expresses the world's concern about greenhouse gas emissions and climate change, a concern that AGC Glass Europe shares. The glass industry can contribute to reaching the targets of the Kyoto Protocol. More recently, the outcomes of the COP21 conference laid down higher reduction commitments and introduced a set of decisions to accelerate climate actions and their implementation. Third, impact on water. The total consumption of water within the group was about 5.1 million M3 in 2020. The water used for industrial purposes is mostly processed water. The amount of drinking water used is very limited, being restricted to domestic use or cases where no other source is available. Next, impact on solid waste. Solid waste to be an absolute waste of resources, something that must be minimized as far as possible. The solid waste that remains should be collected separately and sorted whenever possible, for it to be recovered or recycled. Lastly, recycling. Glass is endlessly recyclable like no other product. Our main objective is to use as much glass cullet as possible in our production processes. The use of a cullet avoids CO2 emissions since the cullet requires less energy to melt and replaces carbonated raw materials. Recycling of one ton of cullet allows avoiding the emission of 700 kilograms of CO2. Conclusion now, you've learned that glass bottles and jars are not made using a single type of glass. 
Their different colors are produced using the right combination of different raw materials which also affects the resistance of the containers. Now we will recap what you have learned from this video. What are the benefits of using glass bottles? Durability and longevity. Extreme versatility. Containers can be reused. Lighter weight. The answer is C, containers can be reused. 